Hi, it's been a really exciting month at the Feature and Roadmap Council. We've just finished the June call where we were really excited to see Symbian 3 passing functional completion and we're now really looking forward to the Nokia N8 and other Symbian 3 based devices shipping during the second half of this year. We're also really eagerly awaiting the first Symbian 4 kits to hit the streets, which should be right about now, and then seeing Symbian 4 expanding from there to deliver Direct UI, the next big step forwards in user experience for the platform. As a feature and roadmap council, we're now starting to cast our view beyond that to where the platform evolves beyond Symbian 4. Uh, in a practical way, we started that this month with a review of the multimedia technology strategy, and that's the first of the full set of platform technology strategies that we'll be reviewing throughout the rest of this year to provide our feedback to the community and our support to the community on where the platform should be heading longer term. Another area that we've been focusing recently through the May face-to-face -face and the June call is looking at uh, community contributions and how we can get the community more engaged in building the platform and driving it forwards. We've already got upwards of 25 companies who already have either completed contributions or are well on the way to, as well as individuals who are also contributing to the platform. We want to find ways to support the community, get the community more engaged in those kind of activities to help the platform grow as fast as it can and that's going to be a big focus for us throughout the whole of the second half of this year. If you want to see any more on this, please check out our minutes or go to developer.symbian.org slash roadmap to see the roadmap for the platform and links onto the platform, uh, to the councils and a whole bunch of information.